Tauruses, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of March 22nd to March 28th. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it resonates with your age personal reading, just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for the Tauruses for the period of March 22nd to March 28th. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground even closer to the universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages you want would be greatly appreciated and we thank you. What do you see? What do Tauruses need to know for March 22nd to March 28th? Can you please show me a general energy is for Tauruses for the week of March 22nd? We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below which has your weekly extra based on the chariot. In regards to love, in there we'll ask, how can you steer love in the right direction? How can you prioritize yourself without sacrificing your relationship? And what are your goals when it comes to love? Five of wands in the upright in the challenge position. Wow. Um, in my playlist, 2021 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Queen of Pentacles in the upright in the position of advice. Ask me a question on Instago. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, we're going to end on the Three of Swords and the Upright as you move out. Um, I'm thinking this is a work situation. Um, and if it's not a work or a career situation, then it's going to be however it applies to you. But I always like to um, kind of put out the what I'm kind of getting. And I, I think it's very problematic, just so you know, um, from what I'm seeing. So... General energies are where, wherever, and, and it, let me, let me rephrase that. I also see this as a situation that you have regarding a group of people. So it can be an organization, it can be any, anything that like in, involves a group or furthering yourself within a group. I'm, I'm also getting that. But the three of pentacles in the upright is, is kind of that when you're working with a bunch of people and nobody really is nobody really appreciates what you're bringing to the table. They are valuing it, uh, your opinions, your project suggestions or what have you. And, you know, as a result, you're not feeling worthy. Um, it's it's a situation where it's really hard working with other people um, that you have to work with. So maybe there's slackers or maybe there's judgmental people or what have you. But you're having a really hard time kind of pushing this through whatever it is. And it's getting really tedious um, to kind of deal with these people. I feel like um, you're not really enthralled or excited about this. Um, could be you, you've been put on a project with these people and nothing about it is jiving with you. Um, or it could be... Um, like um, something a lot of times the three of pentacles in the upright can be about something that is going to be recognized put on display the public's going to see it's a really important thing so it, it could be something like that that has that associated with it um, you know something um, on film or on stage or has celebrityism associated with it but it's just not going well people that are in place are not um, people that <laughs> you're, you're real excited about having on your team now the challenge is the five of wands and the upright. So apparently this group of people is very competitive and very rivalrous. So very little kind of gets done. Um, a lot of arguments, a lot of, I want to do it this way. No, we're not doing it that way. Um, nobody can kind of, you know, agree on anything. They're just constantly disagreeing. Um, really heated, heated arguments, really heated kind of confrontations going on. So, and, and as a result, people are kind of losing sight of the bigger picture here. So this is really affecting product activity. Um, I heard a saying recently, it was really good. It was um, something like, um, um, you can't see a reflection in boiling water. So um, it's very similar to how, how anger doesn't allow you to see the truth, you know, because your blood is boiling. So you really can't, it really kind of skews your vision. I almost feel like it's a situation like that. Um, so the advice with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which is kind of interesting to me, um, they're, they're, they're kind of telling you that you're going to have to work your butt off. I mean, not a really great kind of piece of advice, but it almost feels like you're going to have to work harder because other people are, are failing. Okay. Um, that is if you want this to succeed. I mean, the Queen of um, 
the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be a workaholic and all she sees is the work and she works overtime. Um, all she sees is the, um, you know, maybe the accolades or the work or the money that's going to kind of go along with it. And she really kind of throws herself into it. Um, so, I mean, they're kind of saying that, um, you know, you might have to really kind of do all the work to a fault so that you kind of get a piece of the pie or you get um, what you kind of need. But, um, you know, and then these people are just going to be riding your coattails along the way. It's just kind of a necessary evil. Now, as you move forward, we have the Three of Swords in um, the upright. And I feel as though, um, try as you may to kind of keep this afloat, I think it just ends up not working out. Um, the Three of Swords is when a project has failed. And there's, you know, the, the there's loss as a result of it. Maybe you lose your job as a result of it. but uh, Or you separate from these people. Um, you divorce yourself from the idea. Um, sadness kind of goes along with it. So um, I, I really feel like... Um, if you kind of want it to succeed, you're the one that's going to have to do all the work and not get any sleep. Um, but I see it moving forward and kind of falling apart anyway. So if you want to kind of, um, you want to kind of cash in your losses now, if you're, if, if this relates to you, then you might consider that. Why is the three of pentacles here reverse for Taurus's general energies? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and um, despite this kind of going on, I feel like you're trying to kind of come out of this. I, I feel like you're actually the only person trying to do this. I, I almost feel like you're like, come on, guys, we can do this. Let's stay focused. Let's like, come on, you know, this will be a great thing if we make it happen. I mean, either you're being the cheerleader or you're the only one that's staying focused, trying to like, you know, make sure the ship doesn't go down, you're bailing water out of it. Um... I, I'm still getting there. Like the five of pentacles can be when people are not giving you what you deserve, what is due to you. And I feel like you aren't getting respect, honestly, or you aren't getting effort out of these people. But I still think you you have a fair amount of confidence or or you're kind of thinking, um, you know, it, it, it's not going to be this hard. This is just this is just a bump in the road. Um, we can kind of get over this. So it's almost like a measure of positivity you sort of have um, in general. But I think it just starts to unravel as you go along. Why is the Five of Wands here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Five of Wands in the upright. In the challenge position, who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, and there's a lot of paranoia. With people. Not paranoia, but people kind of questioning each other. Questioning each other's motives and, and what they're going to get out of it. And why are you doing this? And why are you doing that? And that's causing dissidence in the ranks, I feel. Um, you know, and, and this can also be a card of you being, you taking quite a few hits, but still being determined and motivated to kind of see it till the end. Um, but you're having, since it's in the challenge position, you're having a really hard time kind of, kind of doing this. You don't know how long you're going to be able to kind of stay standing. But I think for the most part, people are just like questioning each other and, and there's not any unity or harmony or anything like that going on. Um, why is the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse advice for Tauruses? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Queen of Pentacles in reverse for Tauruses. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright. Okay, so uh, this is actually interesting because what they're saying is go ahead and work excessively to a fault. Keep your eye on the prize no matter what. It might come across, across as greedy. It might come across as you just kind of setting everybody else aside what you're, do, what you're doing. But the Seven of Cups says that if you do this, if you move forward from this or if something kind of happens you will have a lot of opportunities available to you now granted you might not want all these opportunities and they might not be great opportunities for you and you might have to think for a long time before you decide which way you're going to go but i feel as though people are going to because of this that you're in they're going to see how hard of a worker you are and how you apply to yourself and when you kind of move forward just to give you an example of what I'm kind of thinking, let's say, you know, you bail on this and you you go try to get another job or project or what have you. And the person says, oh, you worked on the XYZ project? Oh my God, you headed that up? Oh man, that was so much work that had to be, you know, I'm sorry it fell through for you, but I've heard really good things about you. And, you know, so I really feel as though um, because of persevering through this and really trying to hold it together, it's really going to pay off. Um, people are going to appreciate that and then more uh, offers will come 
from it if you choose to move forward and you it looks like you might have to because i feel that things fall apart here why is the three of swords here in the upright who is this person what's this energy for tauruses as they move out of the week of march 22nd yeah, I mean, it's it, so so basically what happens is this whole thing kind of falls apart. I know you're real excited to hear this and, and there's no direction. I mean, it has gone every which way. Um, and with the Ace of Swords, it's just like, well, where do we go from here? Because the whole plan has been shot to crap. Nothing's making sense anymore. Nobody's on the same page. Everything's chaotic. Everything's confusion. And I don't even see a way forward. So I, I do feel this is going to fall apart. So um, revert back to what I said about just, just do your best while you're in it. Because I think um, you don't have any control over these other people or what's going to kind of happen. But you do have control over how you kind of behave in the situation. And that's something that's going to be noticed. So, you know, keep, keep your... Um, your work ethic and your integrity and what have you because that's going to serve you in the end so that's what i have for you tauruses if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a dm um, otherwise make sure you click on the link below for your weekly extra which will be based on the chariot in regards to love in there we'll answer the question how can you steer love in the right direction how can you prioritize yourself without sacrificing your relationship and what are your goals when it comes to love in my playlist 2021 sun moon predictions what is your ideal career based on your midheaven what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign ask me a question on instant go check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe or donate otherwise i'll see you in the video adios from veronica Garnet. Bye.